John? 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 Psst. John? What are you doing? John, dude, I'm trying to prove to you Illuminati's real and you're not even paying attention. Prove the Illuminati is real? Yeah, dude, come on. No, 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 first of all, the Illuminati is... It's not real. The Illuminati is most definitely real. And if you're gonna prove it's real, you gotta be original about it. It's already been done. John. Come on. Fine. <laughs> you gotta be original about it. John, do you see all these people? These are all people suspected to be in the Illuminati. What do these people have in common? They all have an E in their name. Now, I'm not talking about the letter. I'm talking about the sound. Examples. Ariana Grande, Angelina Jolie, Britney Spears, Kardashian, Rihanna, Halle Berry, Beyonce, Miley Cyrus, Kanye West. People say it's Kanye, it's not. Why would he refer to himself as Yeezy or Yeezus? Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, Jay-Z, Obama. You see what I'm getting at? Look, I get what you're saying. Who are you looking at? I don't know. Yeah, I'm over here, man. I don't know. You're, you're just like... There's nobody there. Whatever, just continue. Well, alright then. Just continue. <laughs> the name Illuminati is a clue in itself. Illuminati. They're hiding from us. Alright, John. What are two symbols the Illuminati have? Pyramid. And? I. Exactly. Pyramid. Pyramids are where? Egypt. Egypt. Precisely. What's another pyramid we learned about as kids? Food pyramid? Precisely! If you go up and right, there's a meat. Up and right on the map of the Middle East is Turkey. And Turkey, starting from Turkey to Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia kind of looks like the beef that we used to see in cartoons as kids, you know? There's your first triangle. Now our second triangle, what do eyes do? Sea. Precisely! Mediterranean Sea. Syria. Red Sea. If you draw those together, you get your second triangle. What's in the middle right here? Jerusalem? This is Israel. What yeah. does this look like? What do these two triangles make? Star David? Precisely. What's on the Israeli flag? Star David. Exactly. So if you put all this evidence together, you find that the Illuminati is real. What are you looking at? Hello, look. The show's about to start. We gotta let the anchors do what the anchors do. So, uh... I don't know about you, but... I'm heading out. I wonder what his problem is. My favorite piece would be the 18th birthday cake. One because it looks exactly like how it would look like if we would have purchased the exact same cake. 
My favorite one is the one, a painting by Adrian Espinoza. It has the Aztec and the boombox on the side of it. Because when I saw the swirls coming out of the boombox, it said the words love, freedom, and power ran a bit large. And I liked how it, it came out towards the Aztecs, showing some kind of influence in today's kind of music, basically. I'd have to say the, the fisheye projects, I don't know, they just really caught my eye. I think that I really like photography because I'm kind of a good photographer sometimes. So those are what caught my eye when I first was looking around. So.
for coming out, guys. Hi, I'm Major and Garcia. I'm one of the percussionists here for the Trevor G. Brown High School Marching Band. And I would like to talk to you guys about joining summer band camp this year for the 2015-2016 marching band season. As little of you know, that marching band went to state competition this year. And um, I would like for us to take it a step further and go to state championships and not state competition. Band's just a great environment to be in. Um, we're great people to be around. We have a big family here. And there's a lot of benefits for joining marching band. Uh, every Friday, or not every Friday, for every football game, we go, we play for the varsity football team. And uh, the morning before that, we actually play through the hallways, as many of you all know. And uh, band camp starts July 20th and ends July 30th. And it's from Monday through Thursday, from 8 o'clock in the morning to 12 p.m. And it's just going to be a great experience. And uh, I encourage you for all to come. take over because this is what they're the experts in. They are the experts in treat for injuries and preserving life. Other than that, officer's still all alone. He's still just performing CPR over and over and over again. Seconds count. They will call in helicopters to land and get them there, avoid all traffic, land them into it. The closest landing zone is possible. Load them up. is a police officer and the firefighters are in the ones doing the rescues. So we work together with our Phoenix Police Department to make sure we can do as much possible for the community. Again, look how quick that helicopter landed. It was here within minutes. Load them up. See how fast this thing takes off and it's just a couple minutes. Looks like they just about got him out. As soon as we get him out and stabilized on this backboard, we're going to get him right over to the next level one trauma center. The hospital staff, we've already contacted the hospital. They know. They bring all the doctors, surgeons, everybody they can into that trauma room and get ready. I mean, we're doing full body x-rays 
everything to kind of figure out where the bleeding is, what's going on, what part of them they've got to open up and start doing surgery. Now we've got the other patient loaded up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start an investigation on the other driver. Right now we know she's under the age of 21. She's consumed two alcohol drinks. You are impaired to the slightest degree. And that's what DUI is. It's impaired to the slightest degree. It doesn't say anything about falling down. Unfortunately, she's under arrest for manslaughter. She killed her best friend tonight. They brought over a DUI van, which is just a mobile office. They're going to take her inside that DUI van. They're going to process a lot of paperwork, and they're going to draw her blood. They're going to draw her blood multiple Come times. Out. When you see this white van on scene, you drive by a vehicle crash, and you see that white van, and you see yellow tape around it, you know someone has died at that scene. For the doctor, we'll load it up into the van. I'll transport you back to the medical examiner's office, down into the basement, where your body will be pulled off the gurney onto a autopsy gurney. It'll be weighed a week before we even have a chance to look at you. On the day of your exam, you'll be pulled back off the wall onto a steel table where thousands of other people have laid before you for your last doctor's appointment. And I have to ask them, what funeral home do you want to use? <clears throat> Whether I'm on the phone or in person, that's when you can really see and you can really hear the sound of someone's soul dying. Because it takes them back to that day, to that moment when you came into this world and all the joy and happiness you brought with you. And now that is all wiped out. I'd like to bring up your principal. Sorry about the most. You have something that many of you don't realize. You have a choice. You have a choice. You can choose this. You can also choose not to be involved in something like this. You know what it takes? It takes putting your phone down when you're driving. It takes waiting until you get home to text somebody. It takes not answering that phone when you're at a stoplight because you think a stoplight is a place that you can take care of business. It takes putting your seatbelt on. It takes understanding how dangerous it is to take a drink before getting behind the wheel. It takes the courage to tell your friends that you are not getting in the car with them because they've been drinking, and you know they've been drinking, and you don't want to risk your life.